this out. Hey everybody, I'm Giles and this is JDM World. Today, we're gonna to talk about in-ear monitors and specifically the carbon model from Periodic Audio. Periodic Audio is a newer in-ear monitor producer and I met these guys at Rocky Mountain Audio Fest earlier this year in 2019. Uh, today, they're making five different products, a amplifier called the Nickel, but then four different sets of in-ear monitors and what distinguishes each model is the material that the diaphragm is made from inside of the monitor. So they have magnesium, which is their lowest price point, and then moving up, titanium, beryllium, and then carbon. So today, we're gonna listen to the carbons, we're gonna pull them out of the box, and I'm gonna tell you what I think about them. So let's get started by taking a look at the packaging. The first thing that you'll notice is that the packaging doesn't scream out a million dollar product, but that's actually a design philosophy from the company. Um, the company wants to put the money where it really matters, and that's actually into the in-air monitors themselves and not into the box that they're contained in. Also, they have a pretty significant concern around the sustainability of the packaging that they use. So they use recycled materials in, I think, every component in the packaging. The idea is not to have a box that you put on the shelf that uh, actually cost them a lot of money that then cost you a lot of money. It's really, re really to have a box that you kind of toss when it's done, recycle rather, and uh, a lot of money and time didn't go into the box, but when you put that in-air monitor in, that's really where things are gonna stand out for you. So we're gonna go ahead and crack this open and take a look and see what the packaging looks like and get our hands on the product. On the back of the box is a call out to environmental responsibility, safety, comfort, the acoustic architecture, and then the idea around the diaphragms and the different materials that are used in the construction of the inner monitors. Um, there's a top flap that opens and it gives uh, you know the characteristics of the, the transducers, how these respond, and then a little information about the material that was used to produce the, the transducer, whether it be the carbon, beryllium, titanium, etc. Um, there is no way to get into this box though without actually pulling it apart. The edges are glued and uh, that is by design. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this open so we can get in. All right, inside is uh, a basic white cardboard box, flap opening, and then we have a tin and the in-air monitors themselves. So the cord is a, a basic black uh, plastic type sheath. So there's no uh, interesting braided cords and they're also not removable from the monitor itself. Again, this is another design aesthetic from the company with the goal of these being super travel worthy. Um, as small and as low profile as possible um, to get the job done without spending money where it doesn't really matter. Inside of the tin, we have a uh, double adapter for airline use, phono jack adapter, And then a small bag with the myriad of other size uh, inserts that will attach to, uh, to size this for your particular ears. I've got huge ears, but some people have little teeny tiny ones. So we have a bunch of different adapters here for that. So I've spent a few days with the carbons now and I've come to a few conclusions. Some I expected and some that surprised me. Now, at this price point, these are a high-end in-air monitor. And when you have a high-end piece of equipment, you expect it to be good. And these didn't let me down. They sound great. 
uh, they have a, a nice forward sound, so they're not subdued at all. Um, they really bring out the vocals and music, um, and that's kind of what I expected. Now, I was worried that they might be a little shrill on top, but I didn't get that. I, I feel that these are, are pretty balanced all the way up uh, to the top. Now, what was extremely shocking is, uh, is the low bass response, and these things are monsters. And I don't mean they're monsters in the way that Beats headphones are monsters, where they just amp up the bottom end and it sounds horrible. It's just uh, a lot of thump in your in your headphones. These guys sound great. So, you know, I used my standard uh, demo list and I'll put a link down at the bottom. This is on Tidal and I'm a big Tidal fan. I know some of you folks out there are like, Tidal, what? No way. But I, I kind of like it. Um, and uh, a few tracks that kind of stood out uh, for these. Now, I use Bass I Love You by uh, Basstronics and Bass Mechanic. Uh, to do a lot of testing because it's got uh, some pretty heavy 17 hertz and 7 hertz notes. And with these, you can hear it all. I mean, the, the, the bass that when you watch it on your 18 or 21 inch subs in your home theater, you know, they're moving like this, the frequency is so low, that 7 hertz, 17 hertz. Yes, it, it is absolutely audible on here. It's not super loud, right? But it, it's there. You, you don't miss out on that part of the music. You, it's absolutely in your ears. And that, to me, is amazing. And uh, that frequency is lower than the claimed frequency uh, inside the flap of that box, by the way. And uh, that, that is outstanding. Um, uh, Cruise Control by Gro Ghost Rider. You have to listen to it on these guys. Um, obviously, you know, stereo separation is pretty good with, with in-ear monitors. But uh, there, there were some pieces to the song that I hadn't quite heard before that I was able to pick out pretty well with these guys. And, uh, and that, that's impressive because I've listened to that song a lot. Uh, and these guys brought out uh, a, new, a new experience. It wasn't earth shattering, but uh, that, it just proves that these are, are really that, that good. And then finally, uh, Car Radio by 21 Pilots. The voices were superb. Um, and that's a male vocal. Um, it's kind of a rap rock song and there's some like fast talking and uh, you can really hear the tone of, uh, of the singer's voice. And with these, it, it really brought it out. So. Um, for me, these make a really good package. I want a pair of in-ear monitors that are designed for travel, right? I don't want fat cables and big boxes. I want something that's small, that sounds amazing, that I can stick in my pocket or put in the, uh, the front pocket of a backpack, and these are perfect for that. Now, if you're looking for something that's a little more flashy, this won't necessarily be it, but for the sound, maybe you don't want to be flashy. Uh, because these things sound really, really good. Um, I would strongly recommend that you guys check these out if you get a chance. Um, I would love to hear these on an amplifier. I've just, uh, I've just used them straight out of my iPhone without amp external amplification or an external DAC. And that's gonna be the next thing. Put a DAC on them, give them a little extra juice. Maybe I'll try out the nickel um, and see what that sounds like. Um, reports are that it takes these to even the next level, which I find hard to believe because the iPhone seems to push them really, really well. I mean, they'll, they'll play far louder than, than I would ever listen to them. Um, but uh, with a DAC and an amp, you know, I, I do want to do a comparison there and see what that is like. So, like I said, check them out if you get a chance. Um, you know, you can try any of the four products. This is the carbon, uh, the top end. Um, they say the beryliums are really, really good too. Um, and I hope to check those out and find out for myself soon. So as always, if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, especially the subscribe spot and tell all your friends because they too want to see this handsome face. Take care, everybody. Oh, before I forget, we have a big giveaway going on. So the October and November giveaway is gonna be bananas. Depending on the number of subscribers that we get in October and November, the grand prize is gonna be crazy. It could be anything from a, uh, a Klipsch Groove all the way up to a GSG Audio Devastator, fully built, finished with a 21 inch imminent subwoofer in there. And that guy is crazy. I'm building it right now and it is gonna be a monster. So check that out. It's uh, maybe two videos back. It was published about October 8th, I think it was. So give that a look, listen to the rules and enter, tell your friends, it's a party. <laughs>